Hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church here in Hemet, California. I'm glad you joined me again today. I want to talk to you about joy. In fact, I have a question. You don't have to, you have, you don't have to answer because I can't hear you. But the question is this. Do you sometimes feel hindered in being able to experience joy in your life? If you do, I have two suggestions today. I don't know if it'll hit the target where you are, but it may help someone. There's a scripture in Philippians chapter 1, verse 4. It says, Always in every prayer of mine, making request for you all with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. If you're struggling to find joy in your life, there's uh, one primary requirement, that is you need to have a relationship with God through faith in his son, Jesus Christ. The way to do that is just to admit to God what he already knows, that you and I have sin in our life and that we believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died for our sin and was buried and rose again. And we need to ask Jesus to forgive us of our sin and to be our Savior and Lord. Now, if you have done that and you're still struggling to experience joy, then I have two questions. The first one is, is there any unconfessed sin in your life? Sin is a barrier between you or me and God, or between us. If we have a sin problem between us and a friend or family member, it causes an estrangement and takes away our joy. So if there is an unconfessed sin in our life between us and a family member or between us and God, it breaks the fellowship. There's still a relationship but it damages the communication, doesn't it? So ask God to forgive you of your sin. He will and cleanse you of all unrighteousness and you can start the next day clean and have joy in your life. That's the first thing. The second thing, are there any unsurrendered worries in your life? The Bible says casting all your cares on him because he cares for you. So if you have worries in your life you really shouldn't because we're not supposed to carry around worry we're supposed to trust god with any problem in our life so if we turn our worries over to him he takes away all of our anxiety and replaces it with his love there is a german word for worry it means to strangle and the greek word means to divide the mind so both are very accurate. I mean, if you are worried, it's like a noose around your neck. It keeps you from being able to breathe freely. And if you are divided in your mind, it keeps you from being able to focus on your responsibilities and from being able to have a healthy relationship with others. So I want to encourage you, be sure of your salvation if there's any unconfessed, unconfessed sin, you need to ask God to forgive you. And third, if you're carrying worries around, let them go. Talk to God about it. Let him take it, okay? And you'll be a lot more joyful. God bless you.